Hello everyone and welcome to the 2.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. session of the 2021 Open Simulator Community Conference. In this session, we are pleased to introduce the presentation, Chairnet Creative HQ, Integration of NFTs, AI Art, and POS Blockchain in 3D Immersive Virtual Worlds. Our speaker is Sally S. Cherry, AKA Sally Cherry. Sally is an STI laboratory consultant and instructor who is also a tech geek. As a 3D immersive virtual worlds evangelist and virtual content creator, she is passionate about building 3D immersive virtual worlds, sharing special interest content, conducting clinical laboratory training and fostering collaborative networks. Please check out the website found at conference.opensimulator.org for speaker bios details of sessions and the full schedule of events. The session is being live streamed and recorded. So if you have questions or comments during the session, you may send tweets to at OpenSimCC with the hashtag OSCC21. Welcome everyone. Let's begin the session. Well, hello, hello, hello everyone. <laughs> I am excited to be here and I'm excited to share with you ShareNet. Creative HQ, Integration of NFTs, AI, Art, and POS, Blockchain, and the 3D Immersive Virtual Worlds. And I am going to try to be chatting with you in the nearby chat as I talk. Um, I am sharing with you my, let's see, our mission here. Basically, I've been in here for some time and my overall mission has basically stayed the same. I strive to provide capacity building, public awareness, and content through the integration of digital media, which includes social media, websites, photographs, videos, and etc. And 3D merger virtual worlds as well as to foster collaborative uh, networking, as was noted in my bio. My overall goal and is to promote, educate, and network with real life and 3D emerging world communities in order to enhance access and deliver content resources and services to the integration of 3D virtual worlds and social media. Now, I'd like to So the purpose of, of the SureNet Creative Headquarters, it has a distinct purpose here. I even trans redesigned one world just to bring this world forward. The overall purpose is to share my efforts to, as the creator to integrate real life activities related to NFTs and AI arc within 3D merger virtual worlds and a virtual world projects and activities. Number two, to increase general knowledge related to the creation and use of non-fungible tokens, which is NFTs, artificial intelligence, AI arc, and proof of stake blockchains. And to showcase various collections of original arc and artificial intelligence art, as well as the artists and the creators. But one thing close to my heart is I use the NFTs. I'm using this particular world to help to, for raising awareness about very special interests, such as endangered species. And the number one endangered species I've been focused on is the monarch butterfly. Also community building, laboratory science, public health, and real life landmarks. Doing a little juggling. Let me give you some of my history. I'd like to give you some, go back. I'd like to give you some of my history of why I'm even here. Since 2008, I've been focused on visualizing my vision. My vision is real to virtual, virtual to real. For medical laboratory science, for public health, art appreciation, and other real life topics of interest. Over the past 31 years of clinical laboratory training, I've always looked for tools to assist in the task of enhancing 
the understanding of a particular process and elevating its use through engagement, educating, which is basic for me, is just basic information sharing and evaluating the results. Yes, laboratories are always testing the process. So anything we do, we're going to be evaluating the results. The primary tool has been integration as I define it. I define it as bringing together content, processes, and innovative ideals to accomplish the tasks at hand. It, is a real life, it was a real life process that brought me into the 3D Emerging Virtual World community. The search for tools of integration started while awkwardly using a telewriter. Now, some of you probably never heard about it, but I was using a telewriter in the early morning hours to conduct a medical laboratory session with several medical personnel in Egypt several years ago. They were in Egypt. I was in the United States. We were conducting this training course using a telewriter, which was quite interesting. But this particular task led me to seek out some other tools can be that could be used for distance learning or to share information. So why am I why I am still here? Well, I first ventured into 3D virtual world Second Life in 2006. My experience was short lived due to being intimidated by the technology, as well as landing in the middle of a space that shocked my little avatar's eyes as well as mine. I left the virtual world community only to return after a more positive experience in the now closed 2D virtual world Meta Place in 2008. Some of you may have heard of Meta Place, some may not. That's basically where I got my, my footing in Meta Place and got the, my community, found, some, found my peeps in Meta Place. The community engagement and being more educated about virtual worlds and out evaluating the success of several building projects while I was in um, Metaverse motivated me to try Second Life again. Then I discovered the open simulator community and the rest is history. I definitely have found my tribe in this particular arena. So as I was saying, going along, I was hissed. I'm here, I, I share that to help you understand my passion for connecting, communicating, and collaborating within the 3D virtual world. My greatest passion is researching, co co curating, and sharing special interest information. Hence, the special interest worlds, including my most recent Kitely hosted world, ShareNet Creative HQ. It was established to serve as a vehicle or tool for the integration of my experience in the growing user community of non fungible to to uh, tokens, better known as NFTs, and artificial intelligent art, AI art. And our um, proof of stake blockchains into my 3D virtual world communities. It is hoped that Share. Net collect a creative HQ visitors, including real life and virtual based artists, will use the 3D virtual world to view the featured digital media collections while building a community for information sharing, informal discussions, skill building, and collaborations. So, some is that what are NFTs? And that question comes up quite often. Well, NFT is short for non-fungible token, which is a unique non-interchangeable unit of data, which may be music, anything but value, and is stored on a blockchain, which technically is a digital ledger, uh, which is also stored, and a cyber currency is stored on blockchains, but there's two different entities here. NFTs has unique identification codes and data, metadata that distinguish them from each other. It links ownership to unique digital and physical items. 
cannot be traded or exchanged at always equal value. Contrary to as in versus fungible tokens, which most of us are quite familiar with, is the our physical money, U.S. dollars and whatever currency you're using in real life, as well as cyber currencies such as Tezos or Bitcoin. Now, fungible tokens can be traded and exchanged one for another at always equal value. Now, the non-fungible tokens, the NFTs, they cannot be always traded at value, equal value. So some people ask, well, what, what is, what can be a NFT? To be perfectly honest, as things have been moving along, just about everything and anything can be an NFT. Any type of real or intangible items, such as artwork, photographs, video clips, drawings, doodles, music, gift cards. A lot of your companies are getting involved now providing gift cards for their customers. Trading cards, concert tickets, sports highlights. I think they, a lot of you may be familiar with the NBA's. Um, it's gotten involved with the sport of sharing sports highlights, digital collectibles, digital, even digital jewelry, just about anything you can think of can be minted as an NFT. And we'll go along with that. While one digital media may be artwork drawings and music, it, all, it reflects the creativity and the storytelling of the creator with or without the assistance of artificial intelligence and algorithms. So that's one of the things, no matter what you're putting out there, some say, well, I don't have anything to share. Well, you would never know this it has some value. It can be created into uh, NFT. The majority of the digital media on display in ShareNet Creative HQ has been minted as NFTs, which help to direct the traffic to that particular digital media. The focus should always be on the digital media, though, the artwork, the music. That's where the focus should be and its creators. Because the digital music, the digital media comes first. The use of NFTs and blockchains help to amplify the digital media, media project. Also, and to acknowledge the res respective creators and artists, aka the established owner of that creation, as well as generate compensation for the creator and artists. So NFTs will can benefit artists, but it also can be benefit other individuals. Some may say, well, who can create NFTs? Entrepreneurs, artists, musicians, entertainers, companies, out of, at a, at a, at a, and all the way down the line, you have a desire, have an idea, you can create an NFT. If you can put anything you can create, you convert it over into an NFT. While many individuals may focus on creating NFTs and metaverse spaces for various reasons, most recently, it seemed like the desire for financial windfalls was driving the train. I have embraced 3D virtual worlds, NFTs, AI, art, and um, proof of stake blockchains as basic tools to keep my vision moving forward. The vision of real to virtual, virtual to real. At this place in time, the integration of these particular tools has embodied my vision. Some of you may ask, well, wh why use NFTs? Well, one of the things I like about NFTs, I can, as I said before, can use them to amplify your digital project. But this particular project I'm doing, I have here, I am using it for a Save Monarch Butterflies campaign, making people, helping to make people aware of the potential of the monarch, the status of the monarch butterflies. NFTs is a, it's a natural tool for that. And the picture, in the picture, you can see the um, images that are shown. They were created by artificial intelligence. So I'm using artificial intelligence arc here, and I made it into an MFT. And by putting it onto the blockchain, I have more greater exposure. More individuals can see here the the message that I want to put out there about save the monarch butterflies. 
This one I'm putting sharing information about bringing awareness to African wildlife that are also in danger. Information sharing. When you put out your NFT, create your NFT, you can put a description in so you can put information that you want to share about the particular cause that you what that your images may be reflecting. And note the images can be original images and they can be artificial intelligent images. Now I'm gonna just kind of just let's kind of quickly go through the process here, just give you a better understanding for those who are still asking, what are NFTs? What do I have to do? I was quite mm, intimidated or felt a little like um questionable about how do I do this process? Because I first started, I reached out to some colleagues of mine who was quite involved with that. And they walked me through the process. Then they encouraged me to do my research. And that's why I encourage anyone who's interested in the using MFTs, artificial intelligence, or using the blockchains, may it be uh, whatever, do your homework, research to get more information to understand what is what fits your purpose, purpose what fits your mission. So basically what we have here is, and those, I'm going to have to, just some general steps, and I may have left out a couple here, but I just want to give you some idea of the various steps in creating the NFT. You're going to decide on a blockchain to use for your MFT. You're going to have to, and that comes with, that's where you're going to learn in your research which one fits your purpose. You're going to decide on what digital media you want to create. You're going to create your media. You purchase cryptocurrency that is accepted by the chosen blockchain. You choose a marketplace to sell your NFT. You set up a blockchain compatible wallet. You upload your wallet to the NFT marketplace. So the marketplace is not where, you know, whatever marketplace you use on platform you're using to upload your NFT, that's not where your NFT stops. It goes to the blockchain. So you're going to then, once you upload your digital midi, uh, medium, which may be music, maybe art, you're going to add the request information, which would include your name, your title, the description, a price, the number of issues that you want to sell. Some, and most individuals sell one on one. Some may put a certain number out there. And you can also set the percentage for your roy royalties. And I'm going to plug that in for you. So I mentioned a few minutes ago, I mentioned artificial intelligence. This is artificial intelligence art, just basically. Some may ask, I have the, what is artificial intelligence art? It's defined as any artwork created with the assistance of artificial intelligence. Created independently by artificial intelligence systems or created through a collaboration with a human and an AI system. Where the AI system is a simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer systems. So if you see here, these all these images are shown here. I use text, uh, uh, text content. I gave a sentence. And what I wanted to certain things to do, I gave a sentence with certain words, certain topics, and I put it into a, a AI app. And there's certain uh, different ones you can use. There are different ones out there. And it gave me the images that I particularly want, I was looking for. I didn't know what I was going to get, but it was close to what I wanted to use, especially for the um, the uh, awareness for the wild African wildlife. The images came up perfectly that um to reflect that concept of supporting the wildlife. Now just going to the blockchain. When I mention blockchain, blockchain is just a digital it's a digital ledger that keeps record of ownership and transactions. You have the option to use a proof of stake, which I mentioned earlier, or a proof of work. Now presently I'm I've elected to use a proof of stake blockchain. Most the most uh, pop um, not popular but most frequent used blockchains is the proof of work, 
as I learn about the, I'm still learning about the pros and cons of the blockchains. But I, like I said, I have elected to use the proof of stake because number one, it's less expensive for transactions and it's more energy efficient. And many of the individuals and my target audience may not be able to afford the gas fees of a proof of per, uh, work. I, I'm looking to work with uh, nonprofits and individuals who are basically uh, self startups. And this is why I decided to go with the, with the um, proof of stake blockchain. Now, the, one of the things I, I when I verse at the top, it said, and when I, you came in, you saw it says non -tradition, traditional and non traditional galleries. And that's what ShareNet Creative Headquarters reflects. We have every area of the, of the, of the region has a gallery. Some are traditional galleries inside of a building. Some are non-traditional galleries outside of the building. So what I've listed here is some of those particular spaces, um, parcels that I, we have created on and within this um, within this world. And what you see highlight here, we have our in the Welcome Center, this is another AI collection. This is one I created myself around the um, U.S., um, the United States, around four, I mean, I created fourth, around 4th of July, but it gave me some awesome pictures. I got quite a few pictures that look like the Statue of Liberty. In the center is the gallery, and this year I got the, my, my, this is our traditional gallery. And this is a, we have a, I have a not necessarily a collaboration, but a colleague created a NFT for me using and uh, using original art. His original art. He didn't use artificial uh, intelligence. He used his original art. Art in the park is our main space that we use. The outside space we use to display the artwork. And this is another way I see visualize using 3D virtual worlds to amplify your measures, to use the spaces and not just leave it here. I also capture pictures, share them on my social media uh, platforms so people can see what is going on in 3D virtual world. It's a lot of interest now, especially now, but I like to let them know, hey, we've been doing things going on strong in the 3D virtual worlds for some time. As goes back to my whole vision, real to virtual, virtual to real. Real life inspires virtual based projects and activities. Virtual based life amplifies real life projects and activities. So, using the tool of integration, I constantly are integrating my real life into my virtual life to get my messages out, to educate, to train, to share information. So as uh, it was stated earlier, yes, I am, as a 3D merger virtual world evangelist, I am passionate about building 3D virtual worlds, passionate about sharing relevant information. That's the reason I use my real name within the open simulator community. And not only because I do, one re another reason I do uh, laboratory training in here, but one of the reasons I use my real name because the real life and the online communities have been integrated with my 3D virtual world. And real life in some online communities, I am known as the chief silo buster for social, um, for Cherry Consulting Network. And we have the domain chiefsilobuster.com. This coach reflects our concept of communicating, creating, and collaboration. Virtual Network Weaver is another name I go by because it reflects the mission. Both of these names reflects the mission that has been integrated into my virtual world projects. So I invite you to visit my booth. I have a speaker's booth here. I invite you to visit my speaker's booth on um, zone three, booth number 17. It will be up for a while. And I invite you to visit my laboratory booth, which I have uh, on display a 3D model of the SARS-CoV-2 
SARS-CoV-2 virus. I'm a laboratorian, got to study the virus that is the causative agent for the COVID-19. So I'm making some adjustments. We had to make add some more things to it. Just got some new information to add to it this week. So that will be there for the coming year. And I invite you to visit both, both booths as well as the other booths within the um, this space. If there's any questions, and I... And that is, that's the team at ShareNet Creative HQ team. I am the voice. There are my hands and my feet. Feel free to come and visit. And you can hear, see more, learn more about my work if you go to my link tree, link trees, um, real to virtual to real. And we'll connect you in. Any questions? Okay, we have time maybe for just for one question. Um, someone asked if your dad was a railroad man. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think that was just the question. Your dad was a railroad uh, man. If you know that my father was a real railroad man, have them to contact me, please. Okay. <laughs> contact Sally if you have that question. Yes, okay, and I if you contact me. <laughs> okay, and I think we're going to wrap it up with that. I have, I have presentation. Can mm -hmm. I just interject for one second? Sally, if you have resources on like where folks can make the kind of AI, AI art related stuff, I think that would be useful to share and chat too, you know, so. Great, no problem. Um, I came across some links and I will share them in there. And what I will probably I will put at my booth a um a, a takeaway so they come by the booth, they can also get it there. I don't have it with me here today, but I'll put that at the booth so they can come back and we can even talk about it later. I'll come visit the space. Okay. Thank you. I'll leave it back to you, Galen. Okay, that's quite all right. All right, thank you. Thank you, Sally, for an informative and interesting presentation. As a reminder to our audience, you will want to check out conference.opensimulator.org to see what is coming up on the conference schedule. Following this session, we have a break and the next session begins at 3.30 p.m. in this keynote region and is entitled AI Augmented 3D Visualization in the Metaverse by a Scientific Virtual Observatories. Also, we encourage you to visit the OSCC 21 Poster Expo in the OSCC Expo 3 region to find accompanying information on presentations and explore the hypergrid tour resources in OSCC Expo 2 region, along with sponsor and crown funder booths located throughout all of the OSCC Expo regions. Thank you again to our speaker and the audience.